G'day, it's Robbie Regain. Well, in that last review I did of a small form factor stick welder that you see on the left of the screen at the moment, the, uh, the little baby one, uh, I really liked that welder a lot and it welded absolutely honestly as far as the rod, um, the electrode settings went that whereas I would normally use say you know 100 to 110 for a 2.5 mil rod it welded from 90 beautifully right up to 110 no problem whatsoever and then I put on a 3.2 mil rod and that ran at 130 beautifully so the settings and the the amperage output are obviously directly in line with my AC settings of the welder that the peerless welder that that little box is sitting on right now. The only question about the whole thing was the duty cycle. Now the thing welded beautifully and had no bad habits, no arc blow, ran any rod you, you threw at it. it, it was terrific. But the duty cycle drops off pretty quick on this. Now for 2.5 mil or 2 mil rod use, I don't think it's an issue at all. But for 3.2 mil rods, if you're going to do a lot of that, this may not be the welder for you, but uh, it's hard to say. The only way to really check it out is to run a whole bunch of 3.2 mil rods through it and see what happens. Looking at the duty cycle, it should basically not last more than about half a minute. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to run some old uh, 3.2 mil rods through it at 130 amps, and we're going to see just how long it will run. Uh, we'll time it. The air temperature at the moment is 18 degrees C, which is, uh, what's that, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, for duty cycle testing, you would normally test at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's the middle of bloody winter, and this is the last dry day I'm going to get before it starts pouring with rain for about a week, so it's now or never. So we're just going to go with 64F, and uh, that's a typical autumn day, so... I think it will still be pretty representative of what to expect from this little welder. So let's get on with it. Okay, well here's the test bench. Over here on the left we have some scrap steel. Some old car gearbox mount. Uh, down here we have my helmet, my trusty old flip-down visor. And we have five heavy duty or 3.2 mil rods. Now, normally for home use, you rarely use 3.2 mil rods. Most people weld at 2 or 2.5 mil. That's pretty much all you need for most light fabrication. But 3.2s, if you want to use them, well, it's a matter of see how, how long this little baby will run. So we'll use them to pretty old rods. Uh, that won't make any difference. That just comes down to the number of amps they're going to use. I mean, in a laboratory, they would just put some sort of a resist the load over the cables and they wouldn't burn rods at all. They'd just run it, you know, run the resistor loading until they overheated. We don't have that luxury, so we're going to just do some smoky old rods. I have the fan on because it's going to be pretty smelly and smoky here. And uh, welding rods are actually carcinogenic. They've just come out and said that not too long ago, that they're now a definite carcinogenic. Uh, were a suspected carcinogenic for a long, long time. I mean, of course, anything's carcinogenic. Smoke from your wood fire is carcinogenic, you know, same as cigarettes. So I wouldn't get too excited about it, but, you know, and if it took them this long to work it out that they were carcinogenic, it, it can't be massively carcinogenic. Anyway, put the fan on, you'll be right. So we'll get on with it.
Wow. As you can see, the over temperature light never came on. It's just the green run light. That was at 130 amps. So it's worked rods welded perfectly. They puffed out a little bit of warm air. Nothing. No temperature rise of any significance whatsoever. As you can see, I'm running my new dense cables, the big heavy duty cables on this as well. So I've got eight meter cables. Still pumped out 130 amps at the uh, at the other end, at the electrode end. The rod ran perfectly. So this is one awesome little bloody welder. I've got to say, like this went way better than I expected. I thought it'd conk out after about two rods, and the thing went five and never looked like overheating. It didn't even hardly warm up. So pretty bloody impressive. So there you go, that's five rods worth. Something you'd never do at home. I mean, you'd, you'd never weld five, rod, five three point three mil rods in a, in a row like that. I mean, that would, that's something <laughs> that you'd only use for sort of welding up heavy machinery and stuff. And yeah, no issue whatsoever. All the slag just coming off nicely. So you can see it was up right up to temperature. There were no temperature issues. And the rods were welding quite all right. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, full on, full on welding. Really well burned in. Good job. And those rods, those rods I used were 50 years old. They used them to weld up, I think, the, the Murray Bridge to Adelaide pipeline. I got them from a mate of mine who used to work in NWS. And they were ancient rods and no problem. So there you have it. If you haven't made your mind up by now, I think this will possibly do the trick. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.